Okay, for number 24, um, 64 is a perfect square, so the square root of 64 is 8. Um, for 40, if we had 40 x's, then we would just figure out how many pairs we have, which is half of the 40, which is 20. There are no leftovers, so I don't need to um, put anything inside the radical. I am done with 24. 25, we have the square root of 9, which is 3, but 12 can break down. We could do 3 and 4 or 2 and 6, doesn't matter. And then we just keep breaking that down. So I have a 2, a 2, and a 3. So I have a pair of 2's that goes on the outside of the radical. And then the leftover 3 goes on the inside. So we have 2 square root 3 over 3. Now we cannot reduce because 2 and 3 can't reduce. They're not in a radical, um, even though like they're like terms like because they're not in a radical, we can't reduce them. And then this 3, we can't cross these out because this is in a radical and this is not. So those are definitely not alike. And that's it.